the problem is with a lot of uh, Facebook games is when you need a lot of friends obviously you need like a ton of friends to send you a ton of things and they it gets a little overwhelming so a few times you come across a game where you don't necessarily need as many friends to play it or maybe you know it'll say oh to build this which you don't necessarily need but to build this maybe get a friend to send it to you you know pet society I like pet society because I don't need 500,000 friends to play it I just need one maybe one active person And, you know, because if I want to build, like, a decoration, I can just get a friend to send it to me. If not, don't really care. But, um, there have been a few stories, and I've played a few stories, a few games. There have been tons of them that I've played in the, four, well, now it's five years since I've owned a Facebook app. In those five years, I've played like a, a ton of games. I I start out playing these games and I'll enjoy them and it would be fun. You know, it'd be cute and like, oh, this would kill an hour, this would kill in an hour. And I will play it every day. But it hit me with a snag. At some point, I... Ah, there we go. Sorry, I got like an itch right here. And I'm like, ah. But anyway, I would play it. But like I said, it would hit me with a snag. It will suddenly... Like, bring up some sort of notice. Like, um... Oh, to get to this level... You will need 15 friends to send you tickets to get to the next level. You know, great. <laughs> I don't have any friends. And alone 15. Or maybe you have one friend. You know, oh, I do this every day, 15 days. But eventually, you just grow tired of it and you play some other games. And, um,. A few games started out like Country Story. I really liked the game. It was a cute game. It was a little simple game. I am ticked off that they took it offline. Because it gave it. It was one of those farming games. It was a cute game. But, you know, they took it offline. Another game was uh, Pirates Ahoy. Now, if I remember, Power of War, basically, you just navigate in the ships and you killed random ocean life. And it was an, it was another cute game. That and Country Story used to kill a lot of time. But both of those games are offline now. Um, another game that I like, mainly because I could play it by myself, was Ocean Snapper. And Ocean Snapper, I... Ocean Snapper was basically a scavenger hunt game. Um, wow, 60 monthly users. But it was basically, it would say, all right, the quest is a goldfish with a beach ball. You would take a picture of it. And you would go into the market and you go, I'm going to buy a goldfish, I'm going to buy a beach ball. Click. Add it to that, and you get money, points, or whatever. But that was, you know, pretty much it. I mean, and this game ain't even moving. Eh. 
Anyway, that was another one. Another town. Uh, another town. Another game that I liked was, if I can actually load this, was Wild West Town. Now, that was a good game, but the quest got a little overwhelming. It, it's, it's a really good game. I'm not this good. But the quest got a little overwhelming. Basically, you had a certain amount of energy that you were to use. And the quest will say something like, Buy 10 fences at $200, uh, 200 gold apiece. And you realize you only got maybe 15 gold for, you know, uh, picking up trash. Yeah. And you're like, 15 gold for picking up trash? And I'm to buy, and I'm to somehow accumulate, I'm to somehow accumulate, you know, 2,000 gold? You know, that would take forever. And, you know, again, that would kind of drive you crazy because you're like, ah, that is just, for me, overwhelming. I don't like any sort of games that make me feel like I, I can't complete it, you know? So I honestly stopped playing that game. Um, let me see here. I'm trying to see how many other games I... I played Ravenwood Fair, Ravenwood uh, Sky. Play that one regularly. It does create a lot of lag on my old laptop, so I have to sort of play them all at night right before I go to bed. So I won't have eight or nine apps going. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Treasure Isle. Treasure Isle was another one of Gnome Town. That's another game. Gnome Town's it's a really cute game. It sort of reminds me of Country Story for some reason. It's basically you go around and you clean up this area in your gnome place, your smurf field. And um Yeah, you know, you, it, you like, cut down mushrooms. And again, it, it, it became a little overwhelming because you would cut down a mushroom and it would say, oh, you know, one person has to do all this at once. And then it say, 20 hours to cut down a mushroom. Well, you got that one employee that has to cut down a mushroom, you can't do anything else. That person is offline. I like Prazorama. Um, that's a cute little simple game. Mainly what you do is you um, you basically get spins. You spin this little thing. And it comes up with like little mini games and you collect stickers. I know it seems boring but it really gives me something to do. I don't use pet fill. Um, God, there's a lot of games I don't even play. Candy shop. I forgot that place even existed. Cupcake corner. Friend Fats, Goldmine Island. Happy Pets. Great, now I got my eggs. Um, I like Nightclub City, but then they sort of changed the music and I'm, I went to, like, best friend about it. I mean, it was fun when I had its music, but then they changed the music. Treasure Madness. Pirates of Hawaii. Ocean Party. Never even played. Ninja Saga. My Empire. My Empire. 
They canceled that game, actually. Um, I do like Pet Tales. That is another one of my faves. Um, seriously, Pet Tales, beautiful game. And not like Petville or Pet Society where there's really cute animals. Petville is actually just your basic. Not Petville, excuse me. Uh, Pet Tales is like your basic. It's an adorable game. It's, the animals are realistic, so you don't end up with like a blue turtle fish thing. You end up with a cat or a dog, and I think it only goes to cats and dogs now, but it is like a very beautiful game. It's, it, it, it's well worth it. I mean, honestly. Pet Tales. Pet Tales and Pet Society. My two favorite games.